Okay, hello everybody. This is gonna be ASMR, not like super duper ASMR, just like not super loud. This video is going to be following me through creating an ASMR video from start to finish. And I was really insistent on the start part of start to finish. A lot of my process is thinking, writing, planning. So I wanted to have the thinking and planning be part of this video. I have no idea what video yet. We're gonna decide that together. The reason I sound like I'm dying is because I shot two hour long videos today, which made me feel super productive. Talking for two hours, it doesn't sound like that bad, but it definitely starts to weigh on your voice a little bit. One of them was whispered for an hour and I think that's really bad for your voice. So I went upstairs to my stream room. This is my office. I am most of the time up here planning, doing that sort of thing. And then I go down to my film room when I'm ready to literally film. Today is May 17th, 2021. Today's Monday. I already have all three videos done. I try to shoot three videos a week. That is not normal for me. Usually it takes me until Friday to finish them up. I have a video every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Saturday. So I plan my videos very much in advance. So what I'm working on now is June 8th, June 10th, and June 12th. Ideally, this video will be for June 12th, but it might be a little too soon. We have some planning to do, people. I don't even know what video we're gonna do. I guess that's the point, right? I have no idea what video we're gonna do. So there are a couple of video ideas that I have list listed out. Maybe we should do this one for this video. See behind the scenes of Edward Scissorhands' mom. That is a super famous, like, unintentional ASMR scene. There's a portion where he's kind of like adoptive mom. She's trying to like cover his scars and is just making like the most perfect like ASMR noises, like mixing the stuff and like putting it on his face and that kind of thing. I say we go for it, we figure it out together, we plan it, we write it, we get the props, we film it. I'm excited. Maybe we'll begin that tomorrow. Write it, prop purchasing this week, shoot it next week, and then I'll have Vest do the do the background, um, give you the behind the scenes of editing it. <gasps> this video's gonna be so long. I wanna start now. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll start tomorrow. Everybody, it's vlog day. My neighbor is mowing their lawn. Oh, she's got my sleep phones. Come, Satine. <laughs> Satine, no. Give me your paw. Wow, what a good girl. Come on, give me your paw. Good girl. So I'm gonna go drop her off at her babysitter's. Usually Ben does this. Like, I'm not gonna go ahead and give myself the credit here. Usually Ben does this. I'm gonna go get him coffee because he usually gives me coffee. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna work on the script and props. <laughs> you got, you got, you got what's in your mouth. Whenever I drive in the car, I listen to the Frenemies podcast or K-pop that nips at me. Okay, so I'm a big fat noob at doing this morning run. I got to the Starbucks and the drive through line was so long. So I was like, okay, I'll order for in-store. I'll just go grab it inside the store. It was like a 10 minute wait. And I'm like, oh shoot. Like I probably should have ordered like when I left Satine's babysitter and then picked it up. And Ben's like, duh. <laughs> Duh, you noob. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Hello, y'all. I am back at my desk. I just microdosed sesame. <laughs> I have 15 minutes. I'm going to use that to watch the Edward Scissorhands clip and we'll kind of go from there. I'll take like very brief notes in a Google Doc. I have a Google Doc just for my scripts. I do all my scripts on one Google Doc, so it's like a super long, pretty disorganized 
doc, but like I'll just like isolate to like one page or so. I will record my screen so you guys can see. Let's watch this video. I opened up Streamlabs so I can just record using my stream camera and you can see here this is my document. The second Disney video I already shot. This one is a video you guys will see soon. Okay, here we go. I'm looking at the background here. So I want to recreate this. Maybe not literally exactly, but as close as I can get. Like, I don't think I can get these too easily. Although maybe we could be super extra and like go to the hardware store and like literally build these. Like a little sink. So it'd be fun to have like a light source back there to like emulate the window. And then she's wearing, I'm gonna definitely have to get a wig for this. We'll have to style a wig. Okay, so see how he has his hair in a red clip. So like, bam, that's like one prop I know I can definitely try to get is like a red clip and I'll put your hair up as Edward. Mm -hmm. Those little makeup sponges, I have a ton of those. She's wearing a bracelet. I love this scene. This absolutely used to give me unintentional ASMR all the time. Now this has a touch of lavender. This is fantastic because we can see the props. She's wearing an apple shirt. Okay, oh my god, this is interesting. The mixing of the jar and a little spatula. Oh, look! Southern ASMR Sounds did one. Eddie Scissorhands makeover. Usually when I do have an idea like this, I I would say usually, not all the time, not at all, not all the time, but I'll look and see if other people have done it. Just to like give, give credit if you, in case you like glean any sort of like ideas or inspiration from how they did it. And just nice to see how other people choose to go about it. So I'm gonna start right here. Oh my god, I love it. I wanna say I have some requested one. I'm just gonna see what we get. Ed Edgar's snippy hands. Okay, so she did like um like a knockoff on purpose. And Joyce's ambrosia salad. Uh, and some Angelica just for some spice. The apple shirt, the jacket. So what I can do is start. So she's got like a green, like teal. It's like that 60s kind of color. Jacket apron. Apple shirt. I don't know if those are apple earrings. I think they are. Like frosted rose. Glasses, pink nail polish, I have that. Gray contacts, I feel like gray blue eyes. Red clip, I think she's wearing a bracelet too. So we need like these little bottles maybe, like to make our own bottles. So we have lavender and then we have like a light foundation color with the spatula. Let's kind of mark the background items. Red and blue um, knobs, window. Light source, red hose outside, yellow long box, so maybe something like, um, maybe like garbage bags. Then we have the white jug with flower label, and then we have a yellow bottle. Okay, good job. We spent 15 very productive minutes. I will be back later. Hello everybody, tis me. I just finished filming a Duolingo video, which was really fun. Since I filmed this video now, then, hi Ben. Oh. <laughs> You're really getting a good insight into what my life is like. Yeah, if I say I'm done filming, Ben always busts in the room. <laughs> so I'm gonna be working on the, on the video at my desk probably for the rest of the night. Thank you. Thank you. Ben's bringing up all the mail. Actually, so Teen should be home any second. Danger. Should I start cooking now? Later? <sighs> ben just gave Satine an egg. I'm going to quickly, because I still kept all of these tabs up from the last time I vlogged. Because I already have them pulled up. I don't want to just close them without at least looking through them a little. This was very cute. Jar, stick, pretty much exactly like the original video. This is so good. I like that you can just see Basil's eye from Amori in the background there. I was just so confused why I wasn't subscribed to her, but I'm on my, um, I'm on my second channel account. I was like, excuse me. This sure is a big house. Thank goodness for all those aerobics. Glasses. Hello? It's gotta be so hard to top this. It seems like ASMR requests 
like took the concept and created her own like alternate universe sort of concept here whereas i think i'm just gonna have to go the route of extremely true to the source material okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull up the edward scissorhands wiki Her husband, Bill, young son, Kevin, and their teenage daughter, Kim. We need to write a little Peg Boggs. His name's name is... Bill. And she is a local Avon rep. Kind of like give a bunch of references to the movie as a whole. Joyce, Helen, and Marge. I'm trying to figure out like, oh, you can meet my friends. Okay, so I do feel like watching the movie will probably help me embody the character more. I'm gonna do Amazon on the side, but I'll show you all the items as I find them. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Apple earrings, but they're $15. Bam. Now I'm looking for an apple blouse, maybe? Sea foam apron jacket. I'm looking at Etsy. Peg Boggs cosplay. It's all Kim. Nobody wants to be Peg. Retro wig. I'm just gonna see what shows up. <laughs> this only has one star, but look, like you can see how you could style it into that. It's too curly and too short. I have a feeling that I'll have to style. I wonder if I should take this one to a hairstylist. My hairstylist who does my hair. I bet she would get a kick out of that. If I was like, hello. <laughs> Can I look up middle age woman wig? I wonder if I should like, go to a wig store. Very interesting results so far. I hate styling hair. I don't think the quality of the hair I'm looking at. Oh my god. I'm looking at some of the purchased photos. What about? this. It's 20 bucks. It turns heads when I go to church. Way shorter than shown. Barely goes below my ears. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah. I like strawberry blonde. Thank you, Amazon. Hi, Ben. So this jacket could work. I, it's not like the cringy seafoam green color, but the teal isn't quite right either. Ben Crotch Cam in white pants to have some shame. It's like a brass bracelet. When it swiftly look this up on Amazon. I like I'd rather not buy one. Silver rings, gold ring, brass ring. I need a red clip too. Oh my god, guys, I'm getting carried away. Vintage women's watch. God. Watches are either like $12 or like $600. Everybody hold your horses. I found one for 30 bucks. What's the point of AdSense if you can't use all the money on buying props for yourself? Bam. Okay, I need little bottles. Foundation bottles. See, and all of a sudden, my cart gets so full. I like that. Cost to ship $32. Girl, where are you shipping from? I think I'm gonna check out of my Amazon cart. I still have a lot to do in terms of thinking about the backdrop, but I gotta stop for now. My brain's dying. Hello there. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, super meta, but now that I'm finished vlogging for the day, like I'm, I finished working out words since I have, I'm going into Google Drive with a shared folder and I'm making individual folders that are the date so that when Dennis edits the vlog, it won't be just a huge accumulation of like clips and no dates on them and just like, oh my God, what the f is this? And I'm gonna upload all these clips that I just took today. Good night, all done vlogging. But part of the vlogging, part of the process is getting your footage to your computer, whether you're editing it, 
somebody else is editing it, you do always want to organize your footage, otherwise you lose stuff. I am speaking from experience. It's GV. It is October 6th. I don't remember the last time that I vlogged. I am pretty sure I'm supposed to be doing this in ASMR. Yes, okay. Months later, here we are. What I did was I kept having to push off the Edward Scissorhands video because of IRL things, videos that would come up. I didn't have the um, freedom to work on it as much as I wanted to. So I kept just like pulling it to the next month and the next month and the next month. Here we are, it's October. I really would like to get this done for October 23rd. I really would like Dennis to have a lot of time to edit this vlog because I do think there's a lot more vlog footage to be captured. I really would like to shoot this tomorrow. Of course, I also signed myself up for a sewing class, which I have very soon, today. My brother and his wife are visiting and I'm leaving for a wedding on Friday. So. Here we are. So what I'm gonna do is reopen my document. Edward Scissorhands mom, shoot Edward Scissorhands contact, background person, check green screen. Okay, so I was thinking about who could make a background for me and my best idea was the creator who did my Crollo video is ASMR Weekly and he did such an amazing job making my Crollo background. I now have a good background person to contact. And then the costume. I think this all came in. Yeah, did I get this? Did I get this? I might have to go to the store and buy these. Green. This might be... Did I... Do I need to buy a blue screen? This is what happens when I haven't... I haven't looked at this script, but I've decided that I want to film it tomorrow. Okay, yeah, and we now have a new sponsor for this video. It's going to be Helix, which I wanted it to be Helix because, first of all, they're always really nice about letting me, like, do experimental videos. Second one, it's because this is more of, like, a Halloween-type video. I wanted to do the Helix read where I, like, set up my bed to, like, look all Halloween-y. So, a couple of days ago, I went into my basement and I went to go take out the Halloween decorations that I have. And the big box, like, the huge box of props that I have and, like, decorations and things that I purchased, mold molded over we had a, a flood like a little bit of like a water leak so all my halloween stuff is gone um so i have to buy all new halloween stuff i know you guys probably just saw it in the vlog but i haven't watched it in months i'm going to re-watch the makeup scene i'm going to type out everything i hear the life and ceiling thing goes on first then you blend and blend and blend blending is a secret mm -hmm. Darn this stuff! Okay. I definitely want to incorporate all these real lines into the script. That's something I really like to do when it's like source material like this. I like to sneak the real dialogue and lines into it. The beginning would be something like, Oh, Edward, um, I thought of something fun we could do together today. Because she's very, like, motherly. She, like, definitely doesn't want him to feel self-conscious about himself. I just got some fantastic, like I feel like she had fantastic new products from, is it Avon? I think it'll be just the thing for you. And she probably wants to talk about like how he doesn't have to cover himself up, but maybe he'd be more confident and comfortable if he did. I know everyone in the neighborhood was so excited to meet you, but I could tell you were a little nervous. I think this will give you the confidence boost you need or deserve. Why don't you take a seat, dear? She gotta do like all like the cute little like dear. I feel like she'd say dear. I don't know what else she would say. Sweetheart doesn't seem like her. Honey, not really. Um, let's get the hair out of your face. Red clip. Now makeup isn't just for ladies. No, no. When done properly, it can enhance the natural beauty in our features. It doesn't have to be just be feminine. She's trying to make him feel like he's not being a, a girlish for putting on makeup. 
Would you like to try some? Yes? Oh, good. Maybe, like, asking him a couple more questions, assuming he just, like, gives a little nod or something. Well, I think maybe features would fit better here, and then I'll take the features out here. Um, something about how, like, the scars are distracting. Like, she's trying to be nice, but, like, this could maybe be offend- Like, she could be accidentally being offensive. Like, Edward says her hands would never be offended by this, because he doesn't know to be offended. But, you know, like, the well-meaning mom figures. Right after the scene might be the neighborhood barbecue welcoming Edward. So, if that's the case, then that could be, like, the end. Like, okay, well, it's time to go to the barbecue. Alright, I'm gonna have to watch the movie. Alright, I got a dash, but, um, we love strict deadlines, making us work faster than ever before. See you later. Good morning. I just woke up. I'm in my jammies. Let me go check on the props. The baby lock is for Satine. Alright, so, first of all, the last time I was in the film room, I shot three videos. It's so messy right now. So obviously the first thing I'm gonna have to do is clean this up. Luckily everything has a place, so it's not as overwhelming as it looks. Like, there are things go places. I'll be fine. I need to check the props. Let's do that. Okay, so I think I put them all down here. Oh my god, case device sent me at an ASMR case, but they wrote it AMSR. <laughs> this is the coat I bought her. Okay, we have her glasses, looking good. We have her wig that I have not tried on yet, but hopefully it'll be- I tried to get a good wig like out of the bag. We have her watch. This is the red clip that's gonna go in Edward's hair. Um, this is her shirt. This, uh, this is concerning me because look at the green. I'm gonna have to ask Vast about that. And we're gonna see how much this really covers. Otherwise, he's gonna have to mask my neck the whole time. My bad. So I realized that the original shirt I bought had a lot of green on the collar that was almost identical to the green color of the green screen. Because there was nothing separating my collar from the green screen itself, this was going to make cutting Peg out of the image extremely difficult. All of the green in her collar would essentially disappear and look really weird. So I sent a picture to Vest, and Vest asked if I could just wear a different shirt, which I thought was a good solution. Um, so I ended up going out and buying a new shirt the day of as well. So we needed a new shirt. Rest in peace to the old one. These are the bottles that were actually in my document that we deleted yesterday. So I'm gonna rumble through here, see what props might be in here that we can use. But I found the earrings. I grabbed a couple of like um, props that might work. I had bought these vintage bottles from Etsy. I got these plastic ones with the spatulas. Sorry, it is so blue in here, my bad. So I think this was the rest of the stuff that I had actually bought. Fantastic. I do think I will have to go to the makeup store to get like the lavender and like the concealer and stuff. Really quick, Ulta run. Perhaps we go. No, I should write the script first. You just saw me downstairs in the film room vlogging. I usually save my pajamas all day until I film something or like have to go work out or something like that. I showered last night, but because I'm filming things with wigs today, I didn't like bother to do my bangs. So, um, this is how I look when I work. Actually, I usually put my contacts in, but I'm looking at my script again. I guess we have to open the video once again. And you'll see this is- I'm gonna watch this video like seven million bajillion quadrillion times before we end up filming this. And that is normal. Oh, okay. So she needs like- that's the watch that I got, but she's definitely wearing a little- a little ring on the middle finger. She's wearing like pink nail polish. Like that is opaque. So all these things seem like they are really- it doesn't matter, but I think typically when I take the time to get into as much detail as possible, like all the little things add up to making it worthwhile. It's like if I didn't try to focus on all the details, like I might, in general, it might not have the same vibe. And then we need some sort of like pasty 
We need like this pasty something. I'm just gonna write it down because I'm sure Ulta will have something like affordable. Something pasty. <laughs> That'll be fine. I love it. Okay, let's go to the bathroom and we're gonna see. Oh, look, the drawer is already open for me. I clearly was doing, oh, I did my toenails yesterday. Okay, so we're looking for like an opaque pink. That's the, what do you pink? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to check this one. I don't think I have anything else. The other one I was thinking was my collection pink, but that one's like really much more sheer. Mm, no, not quite. It's like that vintage pink. It has to be like super, I think it has to have a shimmer. I am taking a quick break to work on Howl's Moving Castle because Vest just sent me another test and this has to go live today. So I have to stop working on Edward and start working on Howl. <laughs> okay, I just spent an hour and a half working on the Howl video. It needs a lot of sound effects and stuff. So I just went through the whole video and like put out timestamps, linked Vest some sounds I thought would work well for it. Now that that is done, I can go back to working on the script of Edward. So this is where we were. Oh, the other things we need to do is Helix and reach out to ASMR Weekly and see if he would be interested. Let's write that email. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop vlogging so I can not show you all my personal emails. I bought the movie on YouTube so that I could like start like screenshotting elements to like send to ASMR Weekly and it has the software or something on it where it knows that you're trying to record it. Girl, I just want a reference photo, please. Please. Okay, Ben is on the phone, so you probably will hear him, but that is part of my typical day. I watched 40 minutes of the movie, went a little bit longer than I thought, but I got some great, 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 great intel. So these were the notes. So I got a lot of script content. Gotta make writing it a lot easier. The first thing was we did get to see Peg meet Edward. Um, she came up to his house as the Avon lady. So maybe she can, in the script, we'll talk about how she met them, how she met him. There's like throwaway line where she takes aerobics classes. So we can like maybe put that in there. Are you settling in here? Like that kind of, cause th this scene is happening really early in the movie. He's only been with them for like a day. We get to put um, astringent on his face. There's like a funny moment where she puts astringent with a cotton ball on his scars, but I think we can actually work this into the makeover scene. So her husband Bill is a bowling champion, so maybe we can work in that like Bill's gonna take him bowling or go fishing with Bill and Kevin, so there's like a moment where Peg is going through all of the family photos, like explaining to Edward who everyone is. If you've seen the movie, Kim is Winona Ryder's character and kind of Edward's love interest. During this role play, he will not have met Kim yet, but is like very love struck by her photos. And the reason that she's not home yet is because she's camping in the mountains with friends. There is a scene where Edward accidentally pokes a hole in Kim's waterbed. There could be a mo like a little moment where Peg is saying like, I have to fix Kim's waterbed before she comes home from camping. I'm thinking maybe for the role play we could have, there's a lot of like phone usage in the movie. I do have this purple corded phone that would, I think, work well with the aesthetically. So maybe this phone call could be about the barbecue and this is how we're gonna like end the video. He's wearing suspenders and he cuts them in the movie by accident. So there could be a nice ASMR moment where Peg is uh, adjusting or adding another safety pin onto his suspenders I think might be nice. Again, a small scene in the movie, she's sewing and Edward snips the thread for her. So I was wondering if maybe we have something that's like in packaging that needs to be snipped open, she can't get it. Nice like crinkling noises and then, oh, Edward, would you cut this for me? And then like a little snip, oh thank you dear, you know. Phone ringing is a bit jarring in ASMR. So we're gonna have to make that quite soft. Otherwise, if this is near the end of the roleplay, I'd be nervous that it would wake somebody up. I don't know who she's gonna talk to. I think it's Joyce who like tries to seduce him. Um, and she kind of says things like, you're not like trying to hide your visitor, are you? 
and then so she'll hang up and all the ladies in the neighborhood want us to have a barbecue so they can meet you like what do you think about that mm, we'll have to think about what we can make and then there's a line in the movie that i want to add in i think we should make deviled eggs you can't have a picnic or barbecue without deviled eggs around 27 25 into the movie there was the full background image that i can't show you because i can't screenshot it so that might be helpful for asmr weekly uh, to see usually for makeup role plays i'm very very light with how much i put on the brush or the sponge or whatever so that it's not like glooping and clopping all over my camera all over my carpet that kind of thing but i think this role play really calls for a lot of like glooping and like seeing the lavender so i'm wondering if i should get a nice long rolled up towel around the camera that i can actually apply things to so that is everything that i thought of honestly because i've been sitting at my desk for like three hours now i need to step away for a bit so i'm probably just to take like a mental break i got a lot of work done and i'm really happy about that i'm gonna go downstairs eat something take my sesame stuff then maybe i'll do a little script writing and then go shopping clean up the film room a bit okay this was good okay first of all luckily um lawnmowers are running now which is good because that means they won't be running later this is a Grey's anatomy jacket and here's the shirt on so i'm talking to vest right now because we are worried about the green in the shirt so that's going to mess up the green screen a lot and be really hard to mask so i might have to go find similar shirt not an apple shirt which is sad but let's be realistic here i made myself a sandwich i eat my food take my sesame allergy medication i should probably write some more scripts no i want to go i want to go do my errands like i want to go out and do the shopping now we'll see food has been consumed usually now i just like to chill hades break hades break hi ben hello there what are you doing today you're working. <laughs> kind of. What are you working on? What am I working on? Well, a lot of stuff. We got some pitches for end of the year. I'm vlogging the Helix mm -hmm. ad read that I'm doing. Is there anything different? All the talking points for all of your spots this month are in your inbox. I sent you one email with all the talking points. You did. That's where I got the honey ones. The honey ones changed. The honey ones did change. It was actually... They got legal disclaimers now. They do have legal disclaimers now. I think in 20 minutes, I'll probably be good to go out. Makeup store. I'm gonna go try to find Ulta. An Ulta, I think. Some, like, CVS, some... I think I have to go to Goodwill, because this shirt's not gonna work. Do you want me to leave you alone now? Um, I do have some work to get to. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye now. Thank you. All right, well, you know. Fit check. Ooh. 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 Off to do the errands. We're gonna go get all the stuff. What is up, my doggies? I am back. It is almost 6 p.m. Errands took pretty long. I think I did get what I needed to get to shoot today. Let me show you what I got. First off, I did end up going to Ulta. Here's my bag. First was cotton balls. I actually use like reusable cotton rounds, like fabric, like you rewash them. So I got that for the astringent. And then I got um, like puffs because there was a little like vintage powder puff, but it didn't come with the puff. So I needed to get an actual puff. I got the lightest foundation I could find. This is the L'Oreal, but I really like this bottle because it looks like something that an Avon representative would actually like sell somebody. Like I should be able to peel the stickers off so it's just gonna be like a glass bottle with a red top and I think this looks super Avon-esque. Having a running total for how much this video cost would be depressing. Mostly because we're utilizing three editors for this. That's the, That would be the bulk of the cost, right? Is um, the three editors. But like props and stuff, still pretty expensive this time around. Like we bought the Apple shirt off of Etsy and waited for it to come and all the stuff and it didn't work. I ended up having to go to Goodwill and I found this shirt instead. Five dollars. I think it's perfect because it has the same energy as the Apple shirt. It's collared, the base is white, and there's like 
red circles on it, but there's no green. So this is Peg's new shirt. It's not identical to the movie, but it's going to make Vest's life a hell of a lot easier and still give pretty much the exact same vibe. The people working at Ulta were so nice, and I was like, I'm looking for lavender foundation because it exists, you know? They like took the task so seriously, I felt so bad. They're like, well, let me see if I can think of this, and then like maybe we can like find that, and I'm like, no, 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 like I can, it's okay, like I don't really need it. But then I asked if they had like any clay mask, so this is gonna be really good for the consistency of the slop that she puts on him. Don't miss stuff. stuff! See? It's like clay, so this is gonna be able to like go on the spatula, so I can like kind of like the light concealing cream. So I couldn't find a good tube. She is using a tube. I could really only find ones like this that have like the brush on the end. Hers was like a squeezy tube. See, this has like um, writing on it. I mean, beauty product this. This one has writing on it, but I'm wondering if I can get that off with acetone so it would just be a blank tube. I just didn't want it to be like Smashbox and people be like, this is so like, this is taking me out of the role play. It's not very realistic. I couldn't find any lavender. So instead, when I went to Target at the very end, um, I just picked up acrylic paint. Like there's no reason why it can't be paint. Easy peasy. I couldn't find any good stick on nails, um, but I did find the exact color that she wears. So I am going to just shape my nails really quick. So I'm gonna paint my nails now. Then at CVS, I did find us, they were a little more expensive than I would have liked. I found us some rings. What else did I get while we were out? Halloween stuff. So I had to get new Halloween stuff so I could decorate my room in Halloween theme for my Helix read. But hopefully um, I will be able to fill my room enough to make it look cool. Uh, and that is everything I got. So we still have to cut the wig and then like we we'll have to do my contacts, makeup, set up the film room, write the script, obviously, print the script, practice the script, paint my nails like I can do right now. ASMR Weekly already emailed me back and he's in, he's in, he's in. I'm very excited. He actually wanted to make it into like a bigger project and I, I so wish that I could say yes, but obviously as you guys all know, this is more of like a deadline thing. So unfortunately we do have to keep it simple. I'm very excited that he's excited about it. So he said he loves Edward Scissorhands and he said he's going to vlog a little bit for you guys, which I think is going to be such a nice, like fun treat. A little behind the scenes. I'm so curious, you know, I only see the final product ever. So thank you. I'm very excited. I'm very excited that you're joining us. So confirmed, we can use our green screen. We have our background plans. We have Dennis editing the vlog. We have Fest editing the actual ASMR video. This vlog is going to be so long. And I'm like, I'm zooming too. I think maybe because I'm vlogging, I'm like, this is actually probably getting done in record speed. You're, you're all very encouraging. Okay, God bless. See you soon. GBL. Okay, wait, I'm back earlier than expected. I figured maybe I should do the whole acetone moment before I do my nails. Don't be shy. not budging. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna have to hold it. And those of you who watch this behind the scenes video know that this is from Ulta. Okay, well, that was a failure. Time to paint my nails. So it's getting dark outside. I'm wondering if I should like drink some coffee or something. I have to write the script. Not that there's anything with scars. I just know you might. Why don't you take a seat, dear? All right. Let's get that hair out of your face. Now let me take a look. I see. Like, uh, examining the face. The light concealing cream goes on first. And how does she put that on again? Back to the scene, once again. She puts it on the sponge, I think. This is the lightest color. We carry. Let's see if it's a match. Well, okay. You know, and we blend. Blend, blend. And then maybe, 
know, she'll have to take all of it off after it doesn't work, you know? Let's start with the astringent. You could, you could use a uh, light astringent. That'll help prevent infection. My document is like so wild right now. I know I'm like typing in bold. I like, I'm like using parentheses and italics and all that stuff. It works, okay? We'll cover up the scars and start with the completely smooth surface. Then she's got to mix up the... Start applying with spatula. It's hard, this stuff. I think I might have to place a call to the Avon higher-ups to get some more advice on how to handle the, on how to handle this. Okay, so now we can start adding in this, like, small gasp. Maybe I'll have Bill take you and Kevin bowling. Hello? Oh, Joyce. Well, I... And she's, like, getting interrupted. Yes. No, I'm not trying to hide him from you. So it'll sound like you can, like, kind of hear Joyce on the phone. She's like, well, I just want to... So I'm gonna have to, like just ad-lib something and then we'll like make it soft enough put a high pass on it so it sounds like it's coming from the phone i'm just going to put the answering machine on that was so daisy of me the answering machine okay all right look at this we got a script so as usual once i finished my script i feel like i could have done more i want to say this is good sometimes i would like sit on this script if I didn't have a deadline, but I think we're just gonna have to kind of power through this time. This was like, this is record breaking. I need you to know this is record breaking. I am going to go print this. Okay, let's go print this out. I'm gonna go ahead and share this with Ben because his computer is the one that prints. I'm on top of the world because honestly, this was the bulk of what I needed to do. All right, so Ben brought home dinner today. Usually he cooks actually. We do a lot of blue apron, so I ordered a shrimp scampi. Hopefully, this will give me some energy and then we're just gonna start putting the props together so you can see a little clips a little clips on there it goes all the way there clips 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 for a green screen what you want to do is be as far away from your green screen as possible my room isn't that big i need two lights to light the green screen and I need to stand in front of those lights so that they don't light me at all. I'm gonna have a backlight, like a rim light, because there's like a window behind her and that's on purpose, like in the movie because it looks good. I'll have a backlight attached to the green screen, shining her hair, and then a front light, or like a main light in behind, right behind the camera. And I will show you me setting that up right now. Might as well. Okay. So this is our main light. So we're gonna make camera big, cause I'm very tall. Like this. Okay, this is plugged in so the camera never dies. I need to go get my SD card. It's fine. And then I'll be able to see here. Our main light is gonna be like this. No, I'll mess around with that, see what it looks like this is gonna be our one light that's lighting the background and then the second light's right there it's a lot of cables it's very frustrating okay and then i turn this guy on okay he's gonna start lighting the back this is the microphone i'm using one microphone today i was thinking about using two but she doesn't really move that much so i figured one just might be easier setup the mixer is upstairs because i spilled wine on my other one this is the cord to the microphone, and this goes into a mixer that is not here right now. I'm gonna have to go grab that. This is extra. Don't need this. Okay, so usually this lights my face on the other side, but right now, today, we're gonna use it to light the green screen. And once again, we'll just have to look at the camera and see, and I'll just change the lighting then. I'm gonna take a peek now at what my camera's doing. So I'm gonna take this from you actually, thank you. And let's see, we wanna move this, zoom in. But this is usually how I would set up. As you can see, I really just fumble around the room and like <laughs> curse at things until it's in the right place. And then I do some slight adjusting until it works. I put the microphone here. So it's gonna be kind of like right in front. So when I do things to Edward's face, it'll be like this. 
let me go get the mixer and I'll plug that in. All right, got the mixer. One goes in the back here. This is the, like the USB. The microphone is gonna go into one of these channels. I'm gonna put it in channel one because that would be really chaotic to put it in like three for no reason. Put that in. So the gain for this mixer has to be really high. Compression all the way down to zero or else the ASMR sounds get kind of like warbled. I'm gonna have the pan right in the middle. Like all the levels, the gain, um, everything is like pretty high on this. And that's it. It's really not complicated. It, there looks like it looks like there's a lot of like things on here, but it's because there's like four channels and then there's even more channels over here. There's like a bunch of like just like headphone jack and things like that, but it's really not complicated. I'm going to flip it on. Make sure that my mic is working. So I'm going to go over here. And if I smack the mic, I'm going to smack the mic and I'm going to look. Nice. Got my SD card. I have a massive SD card. Actually, I've had bigger. <laughs> SD card goes in the slot here. I do have autofocus on. It should be fine for this video. I'm gonna go get my laptop, plug in my mixer, and then I can start filming. And I need to put all the props together still. Cut the wig, put the makeup on, print the script. Wow, wow, wee wow, let's get going. Got my rings on. I think it actually looks pretty good. Like it looks like. It looks different. All right, so we gotta get the rim light. I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna get this rim light to hit the back of my head. And I also, let me show you, put up some towels. So I like hair tied them together and then wrapped it around the, the camera. So now I'll be able to like actually apply stuff to the towels without, I'll probably put a towel on the floor too, just in case it just glops everywhere. So that was good. <laughs> All right, our rim light is above. I made sure to check and make sure it wasn't showing. It was showing a little bit, so I had to zoom in. There's like a nice light behind my head that you can't see in this, but yeah, you can. See how my hair is like lighting up? And then for the glasses, I just popped out the frames so there won't be any glare on those. I'm just gonna keep getting stuff ready. Woohoo! I itched my face. I have dermato dermatographia? It was why I have to wear makeup when I film. I just did a little scratch, a little itch. Nice. First of all, we have the script. Sometimes for these videos, I will like tape it right underneath the camera so I can like glance at it, right? Or even if it like takes an edit, like at least I have the script right there. And then I pop back up and I like finish my line or whatever. It might have to really take like a good chunk of time to like get to know this script so that there's not too many edits. Got all the props together. Foundation done. The lavender paint put in the little container. The clay mask put in the little container. We've got the sponges. We've got the astringent. We've got cotton balls. I'll put that together. We've got the safety pin that goes into his suspenders. We've got the thread and needle. We've got the makeup remover, powder, phone. I have my watch on now. My ring. Rag. So I'm gonna go into the bathroom now and start working on the wig. I actually have to go upstairs first, get a wig cap, go back downstairs, start working on the wig. Props are done. That's good. Props are done. The video is pretty much set up. Pretty much. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The closet is very messy right now. We're going into the closet. Um, this is pretty messy. Usually not this messy. Who am I kidding? This is a good wig cap. I like these. These. Light. Question mark. I think these might be worth it. I think these are good. Shirt is on. This looks really good. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna put the wig cap on and the wig and I'm gonna need to grab my laptop actually and get a picture of her up. Something in the clothes or the Vintage bottle is making my skin so unhappy.
Okay, so this is as good as I think I'm gonna get this wig tonight anyway. I do think I'm gonna have to do some like makeup, like a couple of like lines here maybe. I'll do my best to transform my face, but I don't really look like Peg in general, so I'm not, I'm actually just not gonna try too hard. I think most of it will just have to come through in the acting. But yeah, I guess let's do the makeup next. For the makeup, I'm going to be doing under, like in the waterline eyeliner, pretty big like mascara. I'm gonna try to like maybe do a little like crow's feet, under bags, maybe like the smile lines, pink lipstick, kind of like frosty and pink eyeshadow. We'll see. I might use like the blonde brow gel, which doesn't like actually make my eyebrows blonde, but it doesn't make them darker. Probably just some blush, like literal circle blush, and then like no contour maybe to look like kind of caked. Let's see how this works. I don't think I'm going to vlog this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi. So we've made it to, I actually can't believe it. I, I don't know how I'm standing here about to film right now. To be honest with you, this is record speed, people. So I did my makeup. I do not look like this actress at all. Like usually, like I'll try to pick characters that I like at least a little bit resemble. And people are like, oh my God, like you can look like your makeup, like you look just like them. I'm like, it's not my makeup. I just strategically pick characters. So I tried my best. I'm not Winona Ryder. I'm not Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> you know you can tell i'm trying to be pegged i did like a little bit of lines here here i tried to make my nose like rounder here i did like thick makeup and thick like cheeks like i tried to do like makeup i guess because i feel like that's how they were doing like that's how the movie makeup artist like was trying to make them look i still have to put my contacts in i can't really like they kind of bother my eyes a lot of people ask me about my contacts um, I get them from various sites, but, um, I can't, for legal purposes, recommend what I do with the contacts. I put them on top of my regular prescription contacts, like I get the zero prescription and put them on top of my regular ones. But I only wear them when I film. I would never wear them for more than like an hour, and if they ever burn or hurt, something is wrong. It should not hurt. I need to study this script. I wanted to do the test. I actually think I'm pleased with this. I do have to turn off this light above. Go into my LifeX app. I'm going into the film room here and I can turn off this front light here. Ready? Okay. So that means that I that was lighting my face a lot and I do want to turn up the light here a bit more now. might have to adjust my white balance now. There comes a time in every video I shoot where I stop trying to fix things. Good enough. Alpha looks good. The backlight looks good. The glasses look good with no glare. You can see the earrings. Nails done. Rings on. Watch bracelet on. Prop set. Um, but what I'm gonna do, hello, for the next bit is practice the script. To be honest, like, I'm just gonna go, like, read this in a corner. It's stupid to vlog it! I'm just gonna be sitting there reading it in my head and saying it out loud, kind of. But people are like, how do you memorize scripts? And, like, usually I just kind of look at it for a lot, a long time. I just, like, look at it and read it and think about what I'm going to be saying. And I will mess up, and you will see that I mess up, but I'll try to, like, get as much of the chunk as I can without making, like, too many edits in a row. Be right back. I'm gonna check this audio. It'll be my audio test. Use my computer. Um, press that. Okay. Edward does her hands. Take one. Um, this is 11 hours after waking up this morning. We're filming. All I did was work today. I played 20 minutes of Hades. This is a classic, like, really getting work done day. All right. So I did end up taping this here because I figured I might as well just have it there. Okay. Oh, Edward, I thought of something fun we might do today. Well, that's just perfect. You can see much better now. Okay, let's see here. I don't have my contacts in. 
forgot to put my contacts in. Be right back. <laughs> Edward Scissorhands, take two. Contacts are in. Honestly, they're not even like her right color, but they look different, so I'm fine with it. Give me my clip back. Thumbnail. 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 Ooh. I feel like it should be this purple, maybe. Oh, she doesn't even use a spatula for this. What am I smoking? Ah. Ah. This is paint. <laughs> oh my god. Gotta be careful. Nope. 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 It's too bright. Like when I move my hand, like I had to move this this light back. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Like I just have to move this back. Look at that. That makes a difference. darker but it like looks better i think actually it's not as bright cool good job go gb okay accidents happen for a reason yeah accidents happen for a reason i don't like this i'm very excited about this part Stop, this is so embarrassing that you're watching me do this right now. I hate it. I gotta pose and then I have to remember to look into the camera and then you have to hit the angle and then you have to let me live. I see you judging me. Carefully. Oh, it's like a sateen hair on this. Okay. I feel like this might be nice. Hand up. Watch. <gasps> gotta show my watch. Come on. Bought this watch for a reason. You better see it. The peg bog face. Tilt your head and thumbnails. Looks so much better. And hands. I always have hands on my thumbnail. <laughs> always. I never want a thumbnail that I'm just like. <laughs> now I'm taking longer than I would have because I'm being embarrassed about it. Okay, we're gonna call that. Let's try this again. Five minutes in, so that means I'm trying to hit 25 minutes of raw footage. Okay, here we go. Oh, Edward, I thought of something fun for us to do today. This is going to be so much fun, so much fun. So Edward, I want you to sit right there, right there. Good, perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is start by just Clipping your hair back. Here we go. This is gonna go in your hair. Do you mind if I push it back? Here we go. Okay. Back. A couple of these guys really just wanna stay in your face here. And I'm just going to get that there. Okay, how does that feel? That's not hurting you, is it? Good, good. That's right. It's not just feminine things. Okay, let me peek the script. I think I forgot something. When done properly, it can really enhance. <laughs> when done properly, it can truly enhance our best beauty features. A frick! Went not properly, it can enhance a natural beauty in our face. Would you like to try some? Okay. When done properly, it can really enhance the natural beauty in our face. You'd like to try some? Oh good. It's just nice that you're letting me try these out on you. That's all. Okay, peek in the script. Now, let me take a look. Look up for me, dear. And on the side there. And a little on the side here. And this is just going to go on top of some of your scars. <laughs> I don't think she talks like that. I think that's more Minnesota. Scars. <laughs> and this is going to go on top of some of your scars. Just like that. It shouldn't hurt at all. In fact, it should be quite soothing. We're going to blend and blend 
and blend. Blending is a secret. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now your complexion is so fair. I don't like how I said that. I say your complexion, like she doesn't talk like that. <clears throat> Now your complexion is so fair that this has a touch of lavender in it. Give it a try here. Okay, so give it a try here. I didn't do eyeshadow either. Whatever. Oh well. Forgot my eyeshadow. Oh well. Not starting over. But actually, let me pop the script higher. Because this is like my little monologue that I wrote myself. I don't want to be able to look at it while I'm blending. Oh, I'm so happy you came home with us. I usually don't make my way up to that house of yours, but I'm sure glad I did. Nobody deserves to live all alone by themselves. That's not how they want. I've been settling in her okay. You seem to like the car ride a lot. You were smiling, weren't you? All the houses in our streets will go off if you ever get lost. Just remember, we live in the blue one on the corner. <gasps> Maybe I'll have Bill take you and Kevin bowling. This is the lightest color a foundation that we have. Let's see if it's a match. coming. <laughs> oh, bless you. Okay, while I have this transition, so see that I can do this powder transition right here? I'm going to switch the scripts. So it's, uh, I have another idea. We'll cover up the scars and start with a completely smooth surface. I can remember that. Camera is a little dirty, so I kind of just want to. I think I zoomed out a little. That's fine. It will be fine with the transition, but for some reason, I can see the light in the back now. Why is it looking like that? <gasps> it's fine because we're going to transition out of this, so whatever is looking funky right now will be fine to fix. But why are you? Are you falling? There's like a, a light coming here. Is it always like this? I just didn't notice. I'm about to clean my lens with a cotton ball. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 shh. I swear to God that fixed it. I think my lens was dirty. Also, I didn't get the, a good darn, so I'm going to just say it again in case Vess can put it in. <clears throat> darn. Darn. Darn this stuff. I feel like that was the pace I said it, so it's possible that Vess could take a better darn and put it in if it ends up being trash. You lost one of your safety pins on your suspenders. Let me replace that for you. You just hold still, and there we go. You know what? I 
can tighten that up with a quick stitch. You stay put right there. I know my needle and thread is right here. Don't worry, I won't get you. Just a little stitch right here. This should be able to hold it a little bit better. I don't have my scissors. Edward, would you cut that for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you, dear. Did you sleep well last night? Oh, good. You know, Kim's coming home. You know, Kim's coming home. She was camping with her friends up in the mountains. Mm, should be a couple more days. Uh, oh, no, don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. It's just the phone. It's just the phone. Oh, me, it's just the phone. I'm gonna do that whole thing again anyway. Did you sleep well last night? Oh, good, good. Oh, don't be alarmed. It's just the phone. It's just the phone. Hello? Oh, Joyce. Well, if you, if you, if you really think, I, I'm just gonna put the machine on. A barbecue, huh? I told you. All the neighbors are so excited to meet you. Let's get that clip out of your hair. Okay. There we go. Would you like to help me in the kitchen, Edward? Let's go. <laughs> the end, <laughs> kind of. I think it was good. I gotta think back on anything that I may have missed. Check and see if I was like, did I, is something messed up here? Everything's pretty good. I don't think I messed up. We were filming for 36 minutes, which is a really good sign. I definitely like, you guys saw me do the, the test read of the script and then I did another test read and then I filmed. So everything that wasn't in the script, it's just, I just improved. So like, that's usually how I do it. Like I have a base script and then like when I'm actually doing it, I can just like insert a couple things here and there. There's a couple notes for vest editor. We need a vintage phone ringing. That's not gonna wake people up. And then we need a, a docking sound of the phone because I don't have like an actual thing to put the phone in. And then we need a button sound when she turns the machine on. Like, you know, the, 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 the answering machine, like, like there's like a button. Just noting we have to find those sound effects. And then now I have to do the Joyce. To be honest, I don't have to do that tonight. So I won't. GP from the future. I am watching this vlog edit, which reminded me that I needed to get those sound effects. I got a bunch of them from SoundSnap and I still need to record the choice on the phone, but I got the rest of those and just sent them to Vest. I think my goal is to pack for this wedding <laughs> that I have to leave for. I think we did it! I think we did it! We shot it! We did it! We got so many props and we did the whole script today and everything. And we filmed it. That is crazy. That is... I know I'm like bringing you along in like a typical video of me, but I'm telling you like... Vlogging this made me do it faster. <laughs> Even though I put this off for months and months. But what I am going to do is immediately take this SD card, take the sound file, take my phone footage and try to get that uploaded onto Google Drive so that Dennis and Vest can start looking at it so it doesn't just sit here for days. So yeah, it isn't over. It is not over. No, no. Post-production. <laughs> Bye. Ben. What's up? I did, I'm done. Woo! <laughs> I can go to the bathroom. It is only 10. 30. 30. It's only 10 30. I really, all I did was work today though. Yes, I know. You have nothing else to do. You don't have to go upload a bunch of footage and. I do have to video. upload a bunch of footage. You already posted your video. Posted my video, yeah. Okay, so that's upload footage. So you just do it and then go pack. Go. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> Dear God. Hello, GB here. We have entered post production of Edward Scissorhands. I actually haven't vlogged in a hot second. 
Um, so I just wanted to say a couple of really quick things, make it easy on Dennis, who is editing the vlog right now. We're nearing the end. Yay, yay, yay. And Dennis has worked a bunch on the video. We've been DMing today and he was like, well, I hope that like I'm editing it how you want. And I'm like, I hope you are too, but I mean, I usually love what Dennis does, so I'm I'm not worried. But he was like, you know, that just made me nervous, so I'm gonna export the first 10 minutes of what I've done so far and you just check it out. So I am now checking it out. I'm about four minutes in. So far, everything looks really good. It is hilarious. This is like back from May. Um, there's a couple moments where I like talk about how like I'm listening to frenemies and that made me laugh because like that did not age well and i'm just going to continue watching through this and give dennis a couple of notes probably nothing big and he can continue on his way so usually there's like a little bit of back and forth from me and the editors just in case there's something that they want to double check on before they do a lot of work which makes sense very responsible i'm guessing there's going to be nothing major so far i really like what i'm seeing it'll be a cool video we are struggling with some of the longer bits, like when I'm writing the script, when I'm rehearsing the script, and then when I'm filming the script are all very long and technically, I, I think, very boring. Not sure if we want to keep it super long and boring, cut it up a little, do some voiceover. We'll have to find out. Happy Saturday. And let's get this bread. I'm going to keep watching this. GB out. Hello, it's me. I think today is October 19th. I'm covering my face with my phone because I'm about to do my makeup and I look sad. This is the Helix portion of the vlog. We're going to talk about um, filming a sponsorship. So Helix is one of my longtime sponsors. I've been sleeping on a Helix mattress for years. So they sent me the bed when I lived in Chicago and then we moved to LA. Um, which also had Helix mattresses. They weren't literally ours, but the place we stayed at had Helix mattresses. And then our original beds from Chicago are now in our home. So they've been with us for a while. I have really good experience with them. And so doing the ad read, because I've had them for a long time, I essentially, there's not like much new information. So I try to make the ads slightly interesting. Um, so when it's a holiday like a Halloween coming up. We're going to decorate the bedroom in a Halloween fashion. I'm gonna do my makeup now. Starting with a clean base of the mattress. This is always a good excuse to wash my sheets. There is a hole in my mattress that Satine bit when she was a puppy. She had razor sharp puppy teeth and wanted to destroy everything, but don't worry about that. I got my favorite skeleton blanket back up here. I'm gonna put orange sheets on the bed. Hi Satine. <laughs> Hi. There's no one in the bathroom. I just closed the door because so, my toilet is always in every vlog I make. Hi, Ben. Hello. So I'm gonna um, do I? part of the video with the sheets off and then I'll do like a little time lapse where I make the bed and then it'll give us enough footage to work with. I'm gonna set up the camera in here next. All right, I've chosen the fit. The skirt is from Black Milk. They sent it to me. Thank you, Black Milk. They really always have the best Halloween stuff. I have these little two puffs in my hair. I don't know what I'm supposed to be. And then I put on like cool leggings and the socks. Most of the time I just do this for, for me. It's just it's just fun. It's more fun to dress up. It's Halloween. When, when the hell else am I going to wear this? Makeup done. I'm going to do like the choker and necklace um, and then start filming. So I'm going to move my camera, like my real camera into my bedroom. I don't even know if I need a mic in there. I don't. So I'll film the, so what I call, I'll film the ad read portion, which is like me talking about Helix, telling you about the sleep quiz, all the important things, like the details. I'm actually going to do that in here. And then I just go and get the footage of the bedroom and Vesk can like intercut the two, but it's kind of useless for me to get audio in the bedroom as well. Okay. I feel like it's Satine's costume on. <laughs> All right, I got all the decorations out and then I have the naked bed. Throw that onto the bed. We'll close the door, shake it up. This is an old TikTok trend. And then we'll open it and it'll be all decorated Halloween. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna strategically hide the hole with Satine's dog toy. I just got the um, close-ups. So I took the camera off of its tripod, held it with one hand, did mattress things with the other hand and I realized I forgot to put my necklaces on. I think I'm actually going to film this part with my phone. It's 
Satina's back from the park. Yeah, you went to the park? And I finished the room. It looks really blue on the iPhone camera, but I'm gonna shoot on my DSLR. So we need to get Satine in her costume and onto the bed, and then I'll be able to open the door and reveal the helix all Halloweened up. How cute is this? Ugh, I love Halloween. Satine, come here. Good girl. You'll get treated handsomely after this. Oh, oh, there you are. One. Good girl. Wait, 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 wait. Two. Good job. There you go. I've got the actor's wages here to tempt her. Good job. <laughs> Can we try it again? <laughs> She always wants to be where we are. So she likes just vibing. <laughs> You're free to go if you want to. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, Satine, please. Go, baby, go. Go ahead. Go ahead, baby. Thank you. I guess I should try to get myself on the bed too, huh? Like so. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, that looks cute. I never know how to pose in these and I just make the best out of it. Okay, it should be good. All right, so now that we shot the bedroom part, I need to shoot the, what I call the ad read part, which is like the actual like words part. Dude, my bangs though. Don't get me started. So I am going to read any email, just make sure there's no changes to um, what I'm supposed to be saying. If maybe if like the offer has changed, um, things like that, I should be good to just take a couple notes, make sure um, I talk about decorating the bedroom. And then that's pretty much it. I send that to Vest and he cuts together a sweet little ad. And that's that. I'm talking really loud. This is supposed to be ASMR. I'm sorry. Oh my god, a sneaky surprise. Thank you. Taco Bowl. Okay, I'm taking this into my lair. Thank you, B. Ben gave me dinner, which is lovely because I am feeling very weakened. Let me shoot this really quick and then we'll eat dinner. So I'm just setting up the camera. I changed the light settings back since now we're in not a dark Halloween bedroom. Camera, lights, same setup. I'm going to put you here. Helix, um, October 2021. I wrote down the notes in a notebook. I usually just have it on my phone, but the phone's recording. <sighs> Anything in my teeth? Good to go? Okay. I usually try to do this in little chunks. Ben's not got it. He has, he can't clink his bowl. This video is sponsored by Helix. Click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash gb to get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. Okay, so I did that good. And then I'll say the next part. I ended up with a midnight lux, and since it's Halloween, I decided to dress it up in its Halloween costume this year. Luckily, Helix Sleep has a 100 night sleep trial. <clears throat> I said that really weird. So when I was talking right there, like that audio is gonna go over the clips. They have flexible payment options and financing options available as well. I can never say that. They have flexible payment plans as well as financing options as well. So I said as well twice. So be sure to go to helixsleep.com slash GP and get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. Thank you so much, Helix.
Okay. My voice sounded all right today. It's a little scritchy scratchy, but I like to soft speak because I soft speak in the Edward Scissorhands video. So I don't want to whisper in the ad and then soft speak in the video, but yeah, that's it. That's how I record a read. Um, like I said, that's a more of an easier one because I'm just very familiar with the uh, with Helix because I've been working with them for a long time. So that's really awesome of them. And it's time to, gosh, time to send this to Fest and Dennis. I'm almost done. I am almost done. All I have to do is upload the end. Whew. Moving on. Hello, everybody. Sean Vest, GB's editor here, and we're going to quickly tackle the editing for the Edward Scissorhands video. And we're doing this in Premiere, if you didn't know. We also are going to use a little bit of Adobe Audition for some audio editing, but most of it's gonna happen in Premiere. And let's basically just jump into it because it's gonna be pretty quick. The first pass, because ASMR Weekly is also working on this, we are going to do a quick pass of this, which is basically just chopping it down to size and then sending it off to Weekly who's going to do the visual work on this one. So this isn't really indicative of a normal GB video edit. And then I'll do the effects because GB has asked for some audio effects. For now, we want to align up the audio and video, which I've already done. If you don't know, the blue is the video portion, the green is the audio portion. And then the next step was taking the audio and tossing it into Adobe Audition where I did a quick denoiser. So I've already done that, but for the sake of clarity, transparency so that you know what that process is like. I'll do it again real quick. It's actually surprisingly very difficult to edit a video while also talking. So props to anyone who's ever tried it and done it successfully. Very difficult for my brain, but here we are. It probably maybe doesn't help that it's three in the morning, but this is what it would look like in Adobe Audition. This is called a spectrograph, this nice purple orange color right here. I did two things. One is I boosted the total volume by four decibels. So I just did this. Boom, four decibels. And that was to just give me a higher baseline to work with. And then the second thing I did was I came here, highlighted a pretty large portion and I did a denoiser. So I went into noise reduction and captured the noise print and I ran this. And there are denoisers, automatic denoisers that you can use within Premiere without even having to go into Audition. So if you don't wanna do this part, you don't have to, but when you use an automatic denoiser, obviously it's a little more broad, it can, be a little more destructive because you're not getting kind of the granular details that you want. We can see very distinct coloration differences between when she's talking and when she's not. So that's a good sign. If you ever pop open Audition and you just see a sea of red, that means you've you've got way too much noise and you've definitely got something to work on at the source, whether that be like microphone issues, uh, background noise issues, et cetera, et cetera. So that would leave us pretty much caught up to where we are now. So we have the video and the audio lined up. She uh, is going to clap, but I've already lined that up, of course. So we can see her posing for the thumbnail. Since I'm not doing the visual work, I cannot take the thumbnail pictures. So instead of deleting this portion of the video entirely, I'm going to save this portion of the video and attach it to the end. And then I'm gonna make a note saying uh, to ASMR Weekly, who's doing the visuals, that there is a thumbnail portion that I've kind of stashed away at the end. If you could also apply the effects to that and then grab some thumbnails for her. We're gonna do basically three passes of this video. The first one is just gonna be cutting it to size. So that means taking out any bad bits and taking out any bad audio bits uh, on the first pass and then sending that to Weekly, who will be doing the visual work and then getting that final product back, I'll throw it back onto this timeline. And then I'm going to do the final audio pass where I'll put in some extra effects, make sure everything's balanced, make sure I didn't miss anything, and we'll go from there. So let's just jump into it and get started with the first pass. And I was thinking that we could try them out on you. So there is the first sound, <laughs> something that will become very familiar if you've uh, if you've watched GB stuff, or will be very familiar if you've watched GB stuff, and that's her, her, her knuckles popping. So we're going to do a quick little, little snip snip there, and we're going to go back into Audition. And this is what a knuckle crack looks like when you're in Audition, it's this little line here. You'll probably have heard her knuckles crack before, because they're actually, it's a surprisingly difficult sound to remove, because 
it occupies virtually every range on the microphone. And the louder and more intense a sound is, and the more range it occupies, the harder it is to remove. But in this case, we had pretty much dead air before and after. So all we're going to do is just grab a little snippet of that, you know, that air before, go here and overlay it. And that's most of the sound by the looks of it. I'm out on you. Yeah, okay. What do you think? Now we're good to go. I could tell This is that. the glamorous world of video editing, at least for ASMR, because it's more audio focused most of the time. It's just honestly a lot of li very intense listening. So yeah. This is going to be so much. Oh, so there we go. We got the second crack in this one. A little, gonna be a little trickier. Like I said, I don't remove all of the cracks because sometimes it's simply not in our interest to remove it because it's going to damage the audio. Because the cracks are so loud and they are across such a broad range of the, the audio frequency range, sometimes if you remove it, there's there's no sound beneath it and you end up getting a very different kind of audio issue because there's there's simply a lack of sound when there is supposed to be sound so sometimes i'll just lower the volume sometimes you get lucky and you can replace the sound with a whole nother word from later on in the video or for a whole different trigger from later on in the video in this case we might we might be able to pull this off because it looks like she's holding the word this this is good this is good because she holds that for just long enough, we might be able to just grab right in front of this, copy it, overlap it. This is going to be. So yeah. This is going to be so much. Yeah. So it works out pretty much flawlessly. That that's the you know the S sound of this, because she holds it for just a, fr a fraction of a second long enough, we're able to duplicate the sound and you don't notice that there is a, a, a tonal change or anything. So just like that. Oh, I love, I thank you. Thank you, Audition. That's my favorite error to get. So if you've ever used any of Adobe's products, you'll immediately know that they never work as intended. So now I have to do that again. Okay. Now All right, so here's a, a more interesting sound. Uh, this is a, her swallowing and not necessarily like the worst sound in the world. We do sometimes when it's audible like that, wanna just kind of take a look and if there's anything we can do to kind of massage the audio so it's not as noticeable. Let's try, so there's multiple brushes here at the top. We're gonna to try just a generic auto heal. Now auto heal can sometimes be very dangerous, especially in large swatches like this. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Ne okay, it actually works. So. Auto Heal basically looks at the audio surrounding what you're highlighting and then determines what the bad audio that you're trying to remove is. However, in this case, it did work. So here's the original audio. Okay. And here's the new audio. Okay. So just like that, we've maintained all of the other sounds of the, you know, the shuffling of her hands, but we were able to kind of get rid of that very distinct, um, you know, swallowing gurgle sound. Oh, here's something I forgot to do since, again, this is take number 4022. Uh, on the green screen, we have this little dark spot, but unfortunately it is ever so slightly in frame and that'll cause issues for when Weekly goes to key this footage. So to just make the process simpler, I might as well just take care of it now since I've spotted it. So I'm gonna zoom in about 3%. Uh, so we just do that a little bit. So now it is gone. Okay, let me peek the script. I think I forgot something. Uh-oh. It can really enhance. I don't think that's part of the script. Pretty much what happened there is, you know, I've when you've edited this enough, you can see the difference. And you can probably see it right now. You can see the difference between when she's in ASMR mode and when she's in GB mode. So we just jump <laughs> ahead a little bit. When done properly. So here is the when done properly, and we're going to assume this is the correct version. Okay, so where does this fall in? When done properly, it can really enhance the natural beauty in our face. 
you'd like to try some? Okay, so it looks like she's slightly altered what she says here. So we have to get a little creative and try to figure out where it's supposed to actually fall in line. Sometimes she would also send me the script and I'm actually gonna go check to see if I have that. I cannot find the script. So if I have it, it's a mystery to everyone. So we're just gonna have to... When done properly. We're just gonna have to improvise this and, and figure it out the old fashioned way. I think we'll insert it here because it doesn't, uh, there's, there's no other spot where I can really insert it after the sentence where it'll make sense because she'll be doing the same hand motions twice. So actually it means my audio edit's gonna get deleted. Goodbye audio edit. Uh, let's see, can we get a better spot? I'm going to remove this part. Basically what we're trying to do is I'm trying to limit the amount of movement that's gonna occur between these two frames. It's not super duper necessary, but it will just help so that there's not such a jarring amount of movement. This looks a little more natural than if it suddenly just went from here to here because her hand would be fully uh, raised. All right, there's another sound. In this one we didn't even see, but that's why we're listening very intently. One of the biggest questions I always get is like, editing so much ASMR, don't you get tired edi editing it? Not once have I, I don't, I also don't get it like tingles or anything editing it because I'm so intently listening that it's for, it's for a completely different purpose. You can kind of see why, it's because I'm looking for little stuff like this. And this should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna do that and that. And of course it makes this stupid artifact. Again, if you know why it does that, feel free to tell me because I've tried to figure it out. All right, just like that, that little thump is gone. Here we go, this is a nice one. Okay, so here's the first kind of non like, you know, it's, it's not a finger crack, this is just a loud sound. So we have a sound here that is considerably louder than the rest of the audio. And the easiest thing to do here, and this is something I would normally do regardless, but I had been waiting for an excuse to put it on, is use the hard limiter. So we're gonna throw the hard limiter on. And what the hard limiter is, is basically sets an absolute maximum to how loud something can be. So in this case, we're gonna set it to negative uh, 10 is my default. Sometimes I shift that around and we'll see how that makes this sound. Here we go. This is a nice one. Okay, that brings it a little more in line. This one. You can see it's no longer blowing out everyone's ears. The, obviously just what happens here is it's just proximity to the microphone. Her hands are in front of her mouth, so therefore anything in her hands is gonna be closer to the microphone and therefore create a louder sound. We've set the absolute maximum to negative 10 and at negative 10 is still a sharp sound, but it's not, you know, deafening. This is a nice one. I'm actually just going to lower the sound just a smidge on its own, just lowering this a tiny, tiny smidge. And that just takes a little bit of the edge off so that it doesn't peak quite as hard. Chiming in real quick here for a moment. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing with this specific footage, why I'm being so particular with it, is you can see right here at the last second, GB looks over at her script. So what I'm trying to do is find spots where I can transition this. Okay, we can actually go right here, I think. But then we would be cutting out a lot of the mm-hmms. What about right there? Uh, that's not great. We're just gonna cut it here. And that'll do. I'm not, I don't know, it's, it's not gonna be great. I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Okay, we can go from here to there maybe. How does this look? Ah, uh, there we go, all right.
we've actually encountered an interesting situation here where GB ends up going back and records this portion after I'd already done this little spot audio edit. You hate to see it. One thing I have done here is that glass bottle is very loud. So I'm doing some quick little spot edits on it just to bring its sound down so it's not quite so loud. I have the opacity on this very low, so I have to I have to scrub over it for quite a bit. The opacity just basically defines how much the audio change is going to be applied. So by you know by doing that, there's gonna be very little audio change there. Now I'm gonna to have to redo this though, so I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> this stuff. So what we're doing here is GB wasn't happy with how she said darn this stuff and is trying to darn this stuff is trying to say it at the same cadence so that we can replace it. This is very tricky. Uh, it requires the person to hit pretty much the exact same cadence they had the first time uh, and then being able to slot it in so that obviously the viewer won't notice. Now, we don't have any surrounding audio, so we don't have to worry about too much about that. So it's really just about her hitting that cadence. So we can see it's a little off, but we'll see what we got here. Darn this stuff. So the problem here. Darn this stuff. Is that in the original clip, she held the stuff longer than she held the rest of the words. So we're gonna disconnect this stuff and move it down a bit. Does it at least line up with her mouth movements? Darn this stuff. It's pretty close, it's pretty close. Yeah, it just doesn't feel right without the holding of that sound from the this. This stuff. Now what we can do is mix the two together maybe. So what we'll do here, we'll try this. I don't know if this, so we're gonna take the darn Replace that. Darn this stuff. I think that works, actually. All right, so <laughs> as we can see, my portion for now is done. So this will be the final product to be sent to ASMR Weekly. So we have the main video, which is just over 19 minutes. And I've left a little earlier footage and a little ending extra footage. So for me, I'm gonna hand it off and it'll be a little bit, but for you guys, you'll probably jump back to when I'm doing pass number two after weekly section. Is it working? Is it, Steve, is it recording? Is it working? It's working, one, two, three, and hello there, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Andril. I am from the ASMR Weekly channel. I was asked to do a little bit of a behind the scenes footage and should this be like ASMR where I'm doing stuff like this? Steve, do you know? Is this supposed to be ASMR? What do you mean you don't know, Steve? Steve, you are, you're you're bloody useless to me, okay? I'm so sorry, sir. It's not going to happen again. No, 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 I don't want any excuses. By the way, there's no Steve. It's just me talking to myself. That's how it works over here every day. Nothing unusual about it. So, jumping right into it, I'm not going to be very technical about everything. So over here we have a little green screen behind us. And we're just going to change that to a more professional background with computers and everything, a video editor guy has. It doesn't actually look like this in real life, but just so you have an idea. And over here we have the footage with green screen as well behind, and we're just gonna start by creating the background we are going to replace there. By the way, this is one of my favorite movies ever. So we don't, ha we don't have so much image here, do we? Because the character is just right in the middle filling all of the area but we have this other moment here where she just moves her head away a bit and now what we're going to do here we're just going to try to fit them together into position 
And I'm going to use a little bit of this extra area we can see and place on top of there and this and that and do. And you still have a pretty bad because there's all of this still there. So now we are going to just try to recreate this the best way we can by painting over and just doing all of these little things. Maybe copy a few of the objects, put them over here and just there we go. We have our background, it's, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect in this case, because it's going to be a little bit out of focus. There we go. But anyway, I want to give it a little bit more of quality, so I'm going to use our AI upscaling software, and we're just going to make it a larger resolution. And then we have a background, I could even put it over here for example. See, I'm over there now. Cool, very cool, right. Well, now we're going to go into the video and I'm going to do a little bit of a chroma key here. It's very simple uh, because the lightning is perfect on this example, but sometimes it could be bad and it needs a lot of adjustments. But I need to be very careful in, in here because there's a lot of details we don't want to lose, especially in the hair. As you can see, there's lots of little hairs that shine because of the backlight and we don't want to lose any of that. And then we just place the background in there like this pure magic and it's done no okay no we need to go a little bit further I need to make the footage match with the colors so we're gonna start by doing a little bit of color correction on the footage just like this okay just like this yes just a little bit here okay more contrast that's right the saturate Steve is it an ASMR or not I've been speaking very loud for what do I have to do? You know what? You're fired. Yes. Can you get me a coffee before you go? Yes, a coffee. And you know what? You're hired again. Go grab me a coffee. Okay, thank you. So, second day of editing. Um, and we have no water left. Not because there isn't any on the fridge, but because I'm too lazy to get up of my chair and go drink it. So, now, over all of it, with the background, and with our beautiful lady, I just want to make it a little more, you know, you know, it, it needs that little extra color touch. What we need to do is apply a color grading over everything to make it look more, you know, eye pleasing and just give it a little more of life. So here we go. Just do, do a little bit of this. I'm just going to apply this one and then just here. There we go. You have it. Maybe it's not so noticeable. Pay attention to the skin and everything. It's warmer in this, so it gives you a more cozy feeling. And I think that's very important. I mean, ASMR is so much about the sounds, but visually, there's also a lot of work that goes into it. So, yeah. But then again, uh, that's pretty much it. I can remove my background as well. It was a pleasure to be here with you, and I hope you enjoyed to see a little bit of how all of this is made for you. So, yes, I will see you around. Goodbye. Hello everyone, Sean here, and just wanted to go over the Edward Scissorhands Part 2 edit. Uh, this is actually happening after the fact, because the original file is sent. It is up. You have hopefully watched it. I did do a few more audio changes, half a dozen, maybe a dozen, but there's three main things we did after the fact that we will quickly go over. So the first is the phone call. And this is some pretty simple audio design of just picking sound effects. Obviously, we keep the volume volume very low. Uh, the main thing was the talking. The talking is actually just GB again. She recorded a voice line, but I've applied a distortion to it. There's a high pass filter to it. There is a uh, speed. I think it's 110%. It's very faint. You can't really make out too many of the words. It's just designed to exist in the scene to add to it, but not draw your attention away from the overall scene. The second main thing we did was, of course, the helix bit. For ad read stuff, it's again pretty straightforward. It's, you know, it looks more complicated than it is, but GB records what's required of her, sends it to me. I edit it down to as short as possible while still conveying the necessary message. And of course, putting in the necessary, the helix overlay. And then lastly is something uh, you might not know about. So this is the final product that you saw, but this is actually not how the video looks. This is how the video looks. It's very warm. So originally, while we were editing the final 
version of it. GV wanted to mirror the movie more. So if you've seen Edward Scissorhands, you will know that the movie is not very warm. And when I say warm, that just means there's a lot of red and yellow and orange tones in the video. But the movie is not like that at all. In fact, the movie is very neutral uh, in its in its tone. We had to fix the background and then, of course, alter how GB looks to be closer to the original actress. In Premiere, what you do is the, the overarching term is called color grading. I'm not going to get into that today because, I'm I, frankly, I'm not even an, an authority on it. But what I can do is just kind of show you the overarching goals here. So again, this is the uh, original image. And the first goal was to remove all of the warmth and then fix the background. So I did that with the, with the first effect, the first pass of the effect, is I removed most of the warmth, not all of it, uh, and then I fixed the background to be the, the correct color. And I'm actually pretty happy with how the background came out because keep in mind that I cannot alter the background's color without also having a potential effect on GBs. So then I added another effect to try to further correct uh, GB's color. And this one's a lot more subtle. You don't see such a radical change in color, but it's if you watch uh, her hair, if you watch around her eyes, her skin tone, all of that very subtly shifts. And if you looked at each thing individually, you might not say it's a lot, but when you add it all together, it does actually change the image quite a bit. Because we're in a basement, it's not going to be very bright, so that's why we added a little bit more some darkness to the scene. But I also balanced out the shadows on her face so that there wasn't so much contrast. Then the, the last thing we did is actually uh, was r right at the last moment, uh, GB suggested putting in a noise filter. But there's there's a visual noise, so basically it's like little little tiny like particles it looks like on the image and this was just to make it look like an old video and it, it does a lot to actually bring the video together you can see with it off the video does look too modern uh, you put it in and it seems to fit if you really can't tell that it's there this is what what I'm talking about but this is at a hundred percent this is at 10 percent there you go that is the three major changes we did the the phone call audio design the helix ad read intro and then the coloring to bring this scene more in line with the movie. Hopefully you enjoyed this little behind the scenes look. If you do want a more in-depth, like full-on dive into this sort of process, feel free to message me on Twitter or leave comments to let GB know that, that you would like that. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's it for my part. So see you later, everyone. I literally just vlogged for like five minutes and it, my camera app crashed maybe it's a sign that i need to hurry it up hi everybody it's gb today is saturday october 23rd the video is uploaded so it is my final final vlogging moments um before we send this masterpiece we send our baby out into the public wow this has been a process I'm going to screen record and do a little VO showing you how I fill out the video details like the title and the tags and the description and all that stuff because that is definitely part of the process. And then I will vlog just a few minutes of me like answering comments because I love answering comments, especially like the first 24 hours of a video. That's like when I'm most active and, and reading and replying and stuff. And then the final part of this vlog is going to be Dennis. Dennis is another editor for the channel. He usually edits the content for the second channel, but recently he's been doing a lot more on the main ASMR channel. And so I asked him if he would edit this vlog and he said, sure, not knowing that this was a massive undertaking. I wanted to vlog this because of how many times I've gotten the question, how long does it take you to create a video? And I always answered, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And through this process, I was like, maybe I'll find out. I still don't know. I was so adamant that I would vlog every single second and we just found that it was impossible. First of all, the video would be way too long to post on YouTube. It would be well over 10 hours long. Dennis himself, who's editing the vlog of the creation of this, has already edited for over 30 hours. You know what I mean? Like, I think the time that goes into these videos is definitely astronomical and I, I, I think that that's not quite a surprise but what I'm surprised about is how often like I end up working on videos and how I guess how much time does go into it 
if I had vlogged every single second, every single time I talked to Vest or ASMR Weekly or Dennis, every single time I thought about the video or worked on stuff or I don't know, it's just a lot. It was a lot and it was really fun to vlog the process and I hope that you enjoy this video. If you notice any sort of like lapses, like stuff that I didn't show that like you think is missing and you have questions or you just want to know, please leave a comment. I would love to answer them if I see your question. But hopefully we ended up covering the most like important parts, but it was heavily, heavily, heavily edited down. Even though I was like, we won't, we shouldn't edit it down. Like I want to see the full process. And then I was like, wait, that is impossible. But hopefully you can kind of fill in the blanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I fill out the video details. We can make this video live. I'm so excited. I'll do like a final watch through of the video before I do make it live. And then the last part of the video is Dennis giving you just a short rundown. I told him not to spend, because he's already spent so much time editing the vlog portion, I told him to just give a little like sit down, talk through about how he found editing the vlog to be. Um, just so you guys would get that side as well because he put in so much work into this vlog I want you guys to know that there is another human being behind the creation of this content So I will be handing it off to Dennis Oh, oh god, I hate filming myself <laughs> I don't know how ASMR I'm supposed to be right now As GB said, I am Dennis. I am editor number three in this video. I'm normally the editor on GV's second channel stuff, the bloopers, and really any other video where you watch it and think, man, that's over-edited. <laughs> so we're getting very meta now. Um, I edited this video that you're watching currently. GB asked me to record a bit of me talking about my process. I don't know how much there is to it, but I'm obliging. The first thing I did, similar to Vest, would just be doing a rough cut, essentially. Maybe the slight difference would be that with this video, for instance, I'm trying to figure out the form of the video as I'm editing it down. So and this is one of the instances where uh, I was kind of just given a lot of footage. And I just kind of had to figure out what the video was supposed to be. We probably should have communicated a bit better at the beginning. Um, we'll do that next time. I worked kind of as a rolling edit because I was getting footage basically as she was filming it over the many, many months. So as she mentioned, it took me a very long time to edit this one. Definitely there was well over, well over 10 hours of footage at least, I'd reckon. Um, I should probably count unless it takes too much time. So yes, rough cut. I do my rough cut and I'm trying to figure out the form of the video as I'm editing it. I'm trying to figure out like, oh, will this section be a montage? Will I put this into like, kind of like a fake time-lapse thing that I'm making? Will this need music? A lot of the time that doesn't work. So in the first cut, I'll edit something with the intention of maybe making it into a montage, but then I get back to it and it just doesn't work at all. And I need to figure out something else, but that's just kind of the way it works. Also in the rough cut, I'm also cutting out kind of ums and ahs and anything that is kind of unwanted, superfluous, unnecessary, repeating information, that kind of stuff. Also just kind of stuff that probably shouldn't be in the video. Um, I, probably sh I sh probably shouldn't say what those are. <laughs> Once I have all that done, I kind of went back and did my second pass, which is like tightening up all the cuts. Generally, I'll try and cut in a way that, not that people will like not notice the cut, but that there's maybe a rhythm that feels kind of natural. I'd rather like commit to a jump cut than have like an awkward kind of transition, I guess. So a lot of that will mean that I'm doing punch-ins and zooms and stuff. Uh, maybe I do it too much, uh, admittedly. <laughs> In terms of audio editing, I do uh, a lot less than Vest does. So I'm definitely not going in and removing every knuckle crack from the whole thing because I'd go insane and I'd be here for years. So on the second pass, I also do things like the punch-ins, the zooms, I'll add text for some zest personality, I don't know, where I'm just trying to keep it entertaining, because a lot of the time I'm paranoid that I'm not keeping the video interesting enough from my side of, like, my job to, you know, put the whole video together. So I like to add little bits and pieces to kind of keep people's attention, I guess. Not that the original footage is boring or anything, it isn't good. Uh, that didn't sound sincere at all. Oh, uh, there was also the multicam sequence. So there were two sets of videos that GB sent me. So then I basically just combined those, nested those into a sequence, selected multicam sequence, and then you can easily basically swap between the two 
different cameras, and then I kind of tightened up those edits a little bit. As the process went on, I kind of, I'd send GB bits and pieces of footage. You saw, you probably saw that earlier, just to make sure I was doing everything correctly. Luckily, I was kind of on the right track. Maybe originally she did want it to be quite edited down as much as it was. So, maybe in retrospect, this could have been a faster edit. I'm, I'm basically just trying to get the video across the line at this point. Uh, get everything in place. Luckily, fast footage was easy to edit together. ASMR Weekly had his whole thing already edited about 20 times better than I could have edited it. I hope I did my job okay. I hope this video wasn't too boring in how I edited it together. Hopefully it wasn't too jumpy. I'm not the expert out of the three people you've seen editing this video earlier. I'm just kind of winging it. I kind of know what I want the video to look like, and then I kind of figure out some way of getting to that product that I have in my head, even if that way isn't maybe the most economical or quickest or correct way. I am uh, going to get back to editing this. If this gets uh, 500,000 likes, GB will do the B-movie to write it herself. <laughs> I should stop there. Now, I think your complexion is so fair. I'm ready to make it live. Just watching it a little bit. It looks good. It? I've seen it. I'm luckily, lucky I've seen the edit already. Please it's forgive good. me. Okay, hopefully just using my phone microphone works for this. So for the title, this is tough. This is a tough thing for me every single time because the title and the thumbnail are such a, the only thing they're the only thing that can draw someone to click on your video. I want to make sure the title is catchy and accurate. So I usually do ASMR. People don't know who Peg Boggs is, you know what I mean? Like if I say Peg Boggs, they'd be like, who's that? Edward Scissorhands Makeover. Like I don't love this title, to be honest, but we're gonna go on. So Vess puts this in the description for me, which is really super awesome of him. And usually for the sponsorship, you need to have this in the top section because you can see this without having to open the description box. And a high majority of people do not open the description box. And I usually like to add like a smiley or something. This video has been in the works for so long. Link other uh, Edward Strand's video. Would it like, would this be a better title? Link to original scene for a reference. Huge, huge, huge shout out to... I want to put ASMR Weekly first because he has his own channel and I really want to make sure that people check out his stuff. Some other amazing Edward Scissor hands videos, ASMR videos. And then I'll link those. Okay, and then I have my Spotify link here, Apple Music and SoundCloud. So then I'm gonna upload the thumbnail, which Vest is gonna give me, so I usually do that through my phone. My video contains paid promotion for the sponsored videos. So tags. Tags can be useful if your content in your video is commonly misspelled. So usually I just do GB, GB ASMR, and ASMR first. Obviously these relax, relaxing, for sleep, stress relief. I feel like YouTube probably likes those kind of tags. I don't know if any of this truly plays a part, it's just it's fast enough to type, so I usually type them every time. And then I'm gonna write unintentional ASMR, even though this is intentional ASMR, because if people are looking for that scene, like you know how Edward Scissorhands is connected to unintentional ASMR, which is connected to this scene. And then I do the end screen, I click import from video, and get the last one from my last video, which John made for me, and I love it so much. I want to make sure I save this. I'm gonna go to monetization, and what I do is I double check that I only do before video, and that's that's all I do. The end. All right, I'm full sending it. Here we go. Oh, the rush never stops. <laughs> We did it. Yeah, I refreshed a second later and there's six comments. Um, so let's see who got first. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to um, reply to some comments and I'll, I'll do that for the, again, I usually do it like in the first 10 minutes and then like the next time I have some downtime during the day or evening and then tomorrow morning when I wake up, that's like usually when I'm like reading and going through comments and you will see those comments being replied to 
um, but I will not vlog that process because it is time for me to sign off. I am done vlogging. Dennis needs to get his, um, his editing done, um, so I'm gonna stop torturing him and send him all this footage. GB out. Thank you guys so much for joining me. See you next time.